Hello and welcome to Introductory Chemistry, Chemistry 1410 at CNM. I'm Julie Fuller and I am the teacher of this class and I'm just making these very basic, simple lecture videos here from my home computer and hopefully they'll help you understand the class a little bit better. Um, so let's start out with talking a little bit about the class. So starting about with the syllabus, um, you, hopefully you've seen the syllabus. Oh, a couple of important things to notice. The materials that you need for this class are the textbook and a calculator. It needs to be a scientific calculator, but it doesn't have to be a graphing calculator. Read through the syllabus and notice the policies um, and the grading in particular. Notice the policy on late work and on missing assignments. And I want to point out if you miss more, and then four assignments, you could be dropped from the class. So be careful that you keep up. If you find yourself falling behind or needing extra time, just let me know. I'm happy to work with you, but if I see you not participating anymore, I'll kind of assume that you're done with the class and probably just drop you from the class. Uh, the grade comes from quizzes, discussions, exam, and then the midterm and the final. So the Quizzes you'll have every week. You'll have one or two quizzes every week. Discussions, there's about three in the class. The exams, there's three. And then there's one midterm and one final. And of course, those two count the most. Um, and you can see on the syllabus how much each part counts into your grade. Um, so you can be careful of that and keep track of your grade as you go. I recommend you print the schedule page. You can use this kind of as a checklist to check off that you've done all the assignments that are due every week. Um, then I want to move into the CNM Learn shell or the Blackboard shell and point out some important aspects of that, in particular the menu and the learning module. So if you go to Blackboard, uh, it will look like this, and you start out on the Welcome page. And so here is the menu. So those are the menu items. Um, so the start here, you'll only need the one time when you first start the class, but it has some important information, so you may want to look at that. And then the syllabus and the instructor information are things that are also important for you to read. And then the schedule is the same as the schedule page on your syllabus, but it's just there are multiple places to be sure that you um, know where it is. The most important piece is the learning modules. So that's where you'll click on learning modules to get to the content of the class, and that's where you'll spend most of your time. Um, it's important to notice the announcements. There will sometimes be announcements, and um, be aware of those. Sometimes they'll also come as emails. If you need to communicate with me, you can use the messages. So the message tool for communicating with me or other members of the class. My grades, that's where you'll go to see all the grades that you have um, and see how you're doing in the class. Um, and then there's some other things in help. One in per particular, the CNM student resources, that's where you'll find a link to the um, tutoring center and other important information. And some of those others may be really helpful to you as well. So use those if you need them. Um, so let's go on to the learning modules. Um, and so if you click on the learning modules, this pops up. So the learning modules, there's one, sometimes two, um, learning modules for each week. So they're labeled by the week, so be aware of what week we're in and which one you go to. Um, especially if you're in a 12-week class, there will often be two of these modules to complete during a week. And then if you click on one of these, here's what you'll find. So I, this is the week two, um, the math of chemistry learning module. So it starts out with the agenda. So in the agenda, you'll see the assignments. So these are the things that you need to do for points during this week. So it gives the due date and how many points. It also gives some important information that de varies each week. Um, and this one I point out that um, the quiz is very important. The quiz is a little trickier this week than it maybe has been. So it starts with the agenda. Um, then all of these items here 
are items that you want to click on and address. So the recommended study method is just some information about a good way to study. The outline in PowerPoint, that is important. Um, each week I recommend you print out the outline because it kind of gives an outline of the chapter and it gives you some sample problems that if you can solve those, you're well on your way to understanding the chapter. All the PowerPoints are there. Some of the PowerPoints will be narrated like this one, but they will all also include um, just traditional PowerPoints, both in PDF and PowerPoint formats, whatever works best for you. This week has a discussion, so you see the link to the discussion right there, the introduction and matter discussion. You don't have to go over to the side. You could, if you clicked on that, also find the discussion, but I think it's handy to have it all in the learning module. So all you have to do is click on all of these items and it brings them to you. Um, the next few, the Khan Academy, the videos and web resources, the worked example videos, these are all video resources for you to help you learn the chapter. Um, they're optional, the, there's no particular quizzes on them, but I try to give you multiple resources to help you learn the material. So of course you have your textbook, that's um, something that you'll want to use. I give you videos, the video lectures that I make, in addition to the video lectures that I link to from YouTube. Um, and then the next one is the suggested homework problems. Again, I don't collect those. These are problems from your textbook, and if you work these problems, it will really help you understand. The answers are in the back of the book, so it's very helpful. And then I have a section of handouts. Again, you can look at them. If they're helpful, print them out and use them. If not, don't worry about them. And then this last piece is the most important piece. It is the quiz. So every week there's a quiz, and it's on um, CNM Learn. So most of them are automatically graded. And um, these are intended to be adaptive learning style. So what that means is that I want you to be learning as you take them. So you can take them up to five times. The time limit is four hours, which is extremely long. Most of the quizzes are five to ten problems, and it shouldn't take you very long to do them if you understand. But I don't mind if you're looking up how to do the problems. Um, and then each time you complete the test and submit it, you'll get feedback um, on how to do all those problems, and then you can take it again and get new problems. So very important resource to both get your points for the week, and to help you learn it. So if you've done this quiz a couple of times and you're not getting better at it, that's a clue that you should go back and study some more. Try watching some of the videos or working some of the homework problems. Try some more example problems. Try to learn the material a little better, and then go back and do the quiz again. Um, you want to get your quiz score as high as you can. It's an important part of your grade, and it's probably the easiest part to get a high grade. So I recommend if you get a 9 or 10, you're good. If you're below a 9, try retaking it. See if you can get a higher score on that quiz. So every week you'll have quizzes. Um, some of the weeks you'll also have exams. Um, those have a much tighter time limit. You can only take them twice. I'm not as flexible on taking them late. So the exams, you're supposed to show you what you have learned. They're not as adaptive learning. They're, they're to show what you've learned, and they're also to help you prepare for the midterm and the final. The midterm and the final are taken at the testing center. So you will need to go to the testing center twice for this class to take those two exams. And the dates are all in the syllabus, and there's instructions in more detail in each learning module. So hopefully that helps you understand the class. Let's go on to the content now and the content in Chapter 1. Chapter 1 um, is kind of an introduction to chemistry. So chemistry is defined as the study of matter. And matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. And so it's a pretty broad definition. Matter includes almost everything. But what it doesn't include is things like energy, um, light, thoughts, those kind of things. But matter is all things that have mass and occupy space. Matter is all made up of atoms and molecules. And so these are the very tiny building blocks of all matter. And atoms are the smallest particle. And we'll talk a lot about atoms in this class. 
So why do we learn chemistry? Um, it's a really important subject. Many aspects are, of our lives are touched by science and many, all the sciences really are touched by chemistry. Understanding of matter is important to all these sciences and so chemistry is critical to all sciences. Um, it's also important that as you understand science and chemistry better, you understand the world you live in better. That's helpful. Another thing you'll learn in this class is a lot of problem solving. And these methods can be applied and useful in many applications, not just chemistry problems. We'll address the scientific method. Um, the scientific method is the way scientists discover information, and it's a process that emphasizes observation and experimentation. And so that's what's important about it. Observation is super important, um, not always just what you can see, but what you can measure and find from instruments as well. Um, and it's a it's an iterative process. You start by asking a question, you do some research, you co construct a hypothesis, which is your idea of what's going on. You test it with an experiment, then you analyze your results, and based on your results, you either accept your hypothesis or modify your hypothesis and repeat again. So that's kind of the scientific method. It doesn't always work in the same way for every question, but it's kind of the idea of come up with an idea and test it with something you can observe and measure. So some definitions. Hypothesis is a limited explanation of a phenomenon. Theory and a law are more groupings of hypotheses, well-tested hypotheses. So these definitions um, are from a particular book, but there's different definitions. But they're, they're basically scientific laws and theories are supported by a large body of experience, experiments. And they're widely accepted by the vast majority of scientists with, within a discipline. Um, they could change over time, but for now, they're kind of the best information we have. So how do you succeed in chemistry? Chemistry can be a very difficult class. And um, I think it's important that you realize that from the beginning and understand that there's going to be a lot of work involved. Um, first of all, read, watch, and attend lectures. So get the information um, either from the book or from watching to eat, figure out what your learning style is and, and make sure you're addressing that. Take notes and review your notes regularly. And in big bold, work problems. Working problems is the most important tool you'll have. You're not going to learn chemistry with me talking or, or Tyler DeWitt talking to you. You're going to learn it by doing the problems yourself. So work the problems. Work problems out of the PowerPoints, from, from the concepts and problems worksheets, from your um, quizzes, whatever problems. Do a lot of problems. Talk to people about chemistry. Make study groups. Talk to the tutors. It helps to talk about it. Learn from your mistakes. When you submit your quiz, look at the answers. Make sure you understand how to do the problems. And learning takes time. Um, two hours a day is probably what it's going to take you. And you can't really cram it all at the end. You need to put in measured time throughout the week to succeed in chemistry. Some resources to help you, um, and you'll see these in CNM Learn. Connect um, is sort of like the counseling office, the veteran success, CNM job connection services, tutoring, and office hours. When you need help, get help quickly, and um, don't fall behind because that just makes the problem worse. 